Welcome to our new episode. In this video, we will be seeing how we can implement AuthGuard. So basically what we have seen in previous video, like we have done the implementation of login page. Okay. So the problem is like, if we are not logged in it, still we are able to access the route. Okay. So we just need to restrict that. So in Angular side, we have AuthGuard to achieve that functionality. Okay. So let's see in detail. So AuthGuard is nothing but a service which we have to create. So in service folder, I'm creating a service. So command is like ng generate, then guard for g, then your guard name. Let's make it as auth. Okay. Then it will ask to which there are four four types of four five types of guards. So which guard you want? So basically we need to check before loading route. We need to check like user is uh, user has logged in or not. So that is the can activate guard. So you just have to press the enter. Okay. So after that, it will create two two files. One is for the testing and one is your guard file. So if you can see what we have selected, like we have selected can activate. So basic code is ready. So you can see can activate guard is already there. So here we need to write the logic. Okay. So when the route is getting changed, every time it will have to go through this can activate function. So here we can write the uh, logic to check like user is authenticated or not. If it is, we can return true. Otherwise we can redirect to some another, uh, what we can say route such as our login page. Okay. So this is the route we have created. Next thing we need to provide this auth guard in our app module. Okay. So we have this app module in that in provider section we need to provide the auth card okay so since i have added it i will import the statement okay so the first thing we have to generate the auth uh, guard you can name it as your uh, requirement i have named it as the auth okay after that you have to add auth, your guard to the provider section in your app module after that what you need to do like uh, if you remember like we have created route in app module itself okay so basically what we have first route is a empty route then second is a login then third is a third is a component third is again an empty route but with a component home and for that home component we have the children's so all these routes are the children of home component which will be accessible only after login okay so for this route we need to add authentication right so here this is our route object let me zoom a bit Okay, so this is our route object which is having two parameters path and component. So third will be our what we can say route type uh, guard type which we have selected can can activate then our class name for the guard our class name is path guard. Okay. So for now, just we have added AuthGuard to our ng class route. Okay. So one more thing, let me add all the menus in the navbar. Okay. So these are the, what you can say navbars we have added. These are the different links. And with the router link, we have added our routes also. Okay. So in app module for ng class, I have provided a can activate. Okay. So now coming back to our guard. So as I have told you, like we need to write some logic. Suppose like on login, you are getting some, uh, what I can say token or user ID on a successful login request. So that you will store in session storage or the local storage. Okay. So when any route is getting activated, so it will come to this can activate function. So here you have to check if that uh, variable or what you can say cookie, anything what you need to do. Suppose in login page i have stored some values after login into uh, into session storage with some variable so for that i will check constant is user session storage dot get item login id okay so this will gives us if session storage is having the uh, key value pair data with the name login id okay so if 
we get what we can say is user from the session storage then we will re uh, return true okay if we don't get is user values i mean if the uh, session storage doesn't have any value with uh, matching key we are passing it means that user is not authenticated yet so we can return or we can redirect to login page so for to return to what i can say navigate to the so what we can say login page or any other uh, what we can say access no access component is if you have no access component so for that you need to navigate so for that we have to create router instance so we will need constructor here we will create instance of router then again we will use this dot router dot navigate by url and we need to pass our url where we want to navigate if user is not authenticated so in our case it will be login return false okay so let me add a debugger also so that we can check like how it get executed okay so for now i'm saving it okay, we have some error okay i think we need to restart no we have one error so auth guard is we have to provide as an array because there are number of uh, different auth guard we can pass so it it, it expect an array and we have simply provided it as a value okay so this solves our er error let's check our page so this is our login page okay so if i try to access our ng class route so this has auth guard okay let me check it. yes if i click on here so you can see once the route is changed we can see can activate we have a debugger here so now we will check like if user is there so you can see currently in session storage we don't have any item uh, with matching login id so it is a null so if it is null it is going to the else block and we are redirecting to the login page so again you we are able to see the login page suppose i am logging in now one two three four was the password we have given one thing we have missed like on login page we need to store some values also in this particular variable so we can use same in login component okay so if user is successful then we can instead of get storage we have to use set item login id then we can store username okay so after this my what we can say router will be activated and it will try to find the ng class then again auth guard will be executed now we will find in session storage this value is present so it will be true then again that route will be accessible to the user so let's check this now admin one two three four login okay so now we are in the login page it is correct so it is storing session storage now if i show you session storage so you can see login id parameter is there with the value okay so once this line execute means this dot router are navigated by url then our auth guard code will be executed so now you can see here also you can see like what are the parameters we get so in route you can see actual route which is activated state again current route name then before that every like what are the children's we have everything we can get for all the routes which we have created if we have stored some data into the routes still we can access that okay so in this case now is users you can you can see is user is having the value now so since it is a value it has the value we will return true so now this component is accessible okay so this is how we implement authentication in angular okay first we have to implement the login then after login we have to implement the auth guard okay so can activate is a guard which gets executed before the route is activated okay
So if you let me 